In this video, we're going to learn how to build the equation of the line. We're going to cover this topic. We're going to build the equation with a slope-intercept form, and then we're going to do examples with parallel and perpendicular lines. Let's go ahead and start. First, we need to understand the components of the line. Anytime I have a line which is y equals mx plus b, I need to know that the slope is always next to the x, and b, it is the y-intercept. That is the point where the line crosses this line. So let's go ahead and do an example. If they give me something like this, y equals 3x minus 2, you need to know that the slope, again, is the y next to the x, which in this case is 3. Remember, this is only the inclination of the line, nothing else. b equals negative 2 just tells me that the line is going to be crossing in 0, 2. That means, remember, when you have your line like this, it's going to be crossing like around here. In this case, since the slope is positive, I will go here negative 2, go up 3, round 1, and then just do the line. But let's do a couple of examples to understand this better. Build the equation of the line with slope m equals negative 3 that passes through the point 5, comma 9. Let's see what we have. Well, here we have the slope, which is equal to negative 3. We also have one value for x and one value for y. Now, I don't have b, so the first thing I'm going to do is to find the value of b. Now, I'm going to just go ahead and substitute what I have. Remember, I have the slope, so I replace the m for negative 3. x is equal to 5, y is equal to 9, and bingo. Now, I can figure it out who is b, so let's do it. I know that negative 3 times 5 is negative 15. Now I pass the 15 to the other side. It was negative, it was positive. Finally, my b is equal to 24. Now we're just going to do the last step. Since I already have the slope and I already have my y-intercept, remember, y equals mx plus b, I just go ahead and set it up. Remember, my slope was negative 3, so I just put negative 3x plus 24. Sometimes other books or other teachers or professors teach this in another way with the y2 minus y1 equals m times x minus x2. It is the same thing. You will get the same result. This is just, I think, a faster and an easy way to do it. Let's do another problem. Build the equation of the line parallel to the line y equals 4x minus 2 that passes through the point 3 comma negative 1. Now, remember, here they're not giving me the slope, but they're telling me that the line is parallel to this one. I can care less about the y-intercept of the line. The only thing I need any time I do this problem is one point and the slope. Well, remember, when you have parallel lines, they always have the same slope. Therefore, here, the only thing I need is just the slope, which is m equals 4. Now that I have that, I can just go ahead and start substituting x is going to be equals to 3, the slope is equals to 4, y is equals to negative 1, and that's it. I need to just go ahead and solve for b. Let's start doing it. And once I do it, I get that b is equals to negative 13. Finally, I know that my equation is going to be y equals 4x minus 13. As you can see here, anytime, this is a classic problem. They give me something like this, I can care less about this number. I only care about the slope. Beautiful. Let's do another one. Build the equation of the line perpendicular to the line y equals 4x minus 2 that passes through the point 3, negative 1. The same problem, but now my equation is going to be perpendicular. Remember, parallel lines have the same slope, so they might look like this. Perpendicular lines, they don't. If one looks like this, the other one looks like that. If one looks like this, the other one has to be parallel, I'm sorry, perpendicular, and they will have a 90 degree between them. So how do I do this? Well, y equals 4x. Anytime they tell me that the slope is perpendicular, remember, this slope is equals to 4. Therefore, I need the negative reciprocal. That's just changing the sign and just finding the inverse of 4, which in this case is going to be 1 4. So let's practice. If they tell me the slope is 3, the perpendicular is going to be negative 1 over 3. If they tell me that the slope is 2 over 3, the perpendicular is going to be negative 3 over 2. So basically, you always have to change the sign and just find the inverse of the number. 
Beautiful. Now that I have that, I can go ahead and just substitute. Remember, my slope was negative 1 over 4. So now that I have that, I put y equals negative 1. For the slope, I put negative 1 over 4. For the value of x is 3. And now I just need to find b. Once I solve for b, I just pass the 3, 4 to the other side. Finally, I get this. And my final equation is going to be y equals negative 1 over 4x plus 1 fourth. Perfect. I hope you learn a lot and I get to